Welcome to today's tutorial where we are going to learn how to take an avatar's face and put it onto a real person's body. The first tip I have is to source your body image first and then take several images of the avatar with the head in roughly the same position. I find it helpful to remove prims and hair to avoid lengthy editing. Now that we have both base images open in Photoshop, let's bring the avatar into the photo of Jessica Alba. I like to start with the avatar image on top and reducing the opacity a bit. This will help us to be able to size the avatar's head to be more in proportion to the one that we are replacing. We can now bring the opacity back to 100 and move the avatar image below the picture of Jessica Alba. Next, let's use our lasso tool to circle the face and make a selection. Inverse this selection and click the mask icon in your Layers tab. With the mask selected, we can use a soft white brush to roughly fill in around the avatar's face. Now let's zoom into the face a bit so we can begin fine tuning. Select the avatar layer and go to match color in your editing dialog. A window will pop up. Choose your source. This is the tricky part. You may get better results checking the neutralize box, but this isn't always the case. This process is mostly trial and error. Adjust each slider until you get a close match. Make sure preview is checked. You will need to repeat this process again with the model's image as well. Don't worry if it's not right the first time. You may need to do this process several times to get the perfect results. To ensure a more realistic placement of your face, you may need to use the skew and perspective tools in your transform menu. Once you have fine-tuned your size and placement, you may find it necessary to adjust your mask. Use a white brush to add and a black brush to subtract. Next, let's add a burn and dodge layer. Hold down your Alt key while clicking the new layer icon. Choose Overlay from the pop-up box and check the option to fill with gray. With the new layer selected, Use the Burn and Dodge tools to match the shading and highlights between your base images. Next, we can add a contrast layer to further match the tones between the layers. You can continue to fine tune until you have a pretty close match. Now that we have a pretty close match, we can crop the image to a 1 to 1 ratio, which fits nicely in Second Life's First Life tab. There are many methods to morph photos. This is my quick and dirty method. I hope that it helped you. Subscribe to me for more tutorials. 